Make sure that everything is off and the programmer is cleared. You can do this by pressing the off hard key twice and then press the everything off soft key on the touch screen. After this, press clear three times. Select channels 11 through 14. Press the next soft key and the FO hard key. Channel 11 is now on full open. Press store and any button from fader 3 to start storing the queue on fader 3. Now press at 0 enter on the keypad to set channel 11 to 0. Press the next hard key and the FO key to set channel 12 to full. Store again on fader 3. A dialog window opens up and asks whether to overwrite the current queue, to merge, to remove or to create a second queue. Choose Create Second Queue. Now set channel 12 to 0 and channel 13 to 100. Store again on fader 3. The dialog window won't open again as you have already decided in the last step what to do with a new queue. Continue with channel 14 at 100, channel 13 at 0. Now clear the programmer by pressing clear three times. Fader 3 is now called sequence 3. To see the single cues on the fader, click first the list fader hard key and then the sequence 3 soft key. The assign window opens. Choose chaser to define the function of fader 3 as chaser instead of a sequence. See chapter 9 of the tutorial to learn how to change the defaults in general. In the Assign window, the chaser can be edited as well. Select Edit Fader 3 to see all cues. You can start the chaser and adapt the speed. Close the Edit window by pressing the cross in the upper right corner of the window. Using Fader 3, the running chaser can be dimmed. Coming up with a little hint. To change the speed of the chaser, you can also use the button Learn. Press it and keep it pressed while pressing the According Encoder button two times in the intended speed. To set the speed or the fading via a fader, open the Assign window again. Now we choose to have, for example, three faders for our chaser. One as a master, one for fading, and one for speed. Choosing two faders for one chaser enables you to control master and speed, whereas the functions of the faders can be adapted individually by clicking on the name of the function and selecting a new one. If you intend to use 5 faders per chaser, make sure that the chaser is stored on button 1 or 6. If you want to use 4 faders, it must be stored on button 1, 2, 6 or 7 and so on. Use the go minus, go plus and pause button to start. Reverse or hold the chaser.